Joseph Staten leaves Microsoft and we have a new leak about season four content for Halo Infinite. So if you guys want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. We have a new bit of leaked content when it comes to the mode Extraction, which is a leaked PVE mode that we've been talking about for months on this channel, which if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe because apparently 78% of you are not subscribed to the channel. And if you want to help out this video and the channel when it comes to the all famous YouTube algorithm, make sure you tap that like button. Let's get the 300 likes on this for a goal. I'd really appreciate that. It helps support the channel. But anyways, back to the content here. We're talking about PVE Extraction. This is within the code right now of Halo Infinite, at least the API side of things. Recently, this was just commented out that Sir Asia right here, a very credible leaker within the community here, he revealed some commented code within Halo Infinite saying, commenting out since this content is being removed from the exiled map to free memory, prevent season four leaks. Well, I appreciate the effort by 343 to try to stop leaks. Well, clearly that didn't stop them. Now this is the first bit of actual content involving Halo Infinite that actually mentions extraction and season four content. Before that, it's all been leaks and rumors that we've been talking about previously here on the channel. But this is the first time we've seen season four get mentioned when it comes to extraction, which has basically been the momentum we've been hearing about this mode coming out for season four. So we actually get some PVE content for you guys to play out with it, which is this game desperately needs. It needs just like a fun, social, casual mode to jump in and just blow some stuff up because you can't do that within social matchmaking because of how strict the skill based matchmaking is you definitely can't do that within ranked because well it's ranked but there's an extra bit of content we've never heard anything about season four and that is exiled map the first time we heard about that map was during this massive leak of content when it comes to halo infinite released nine months ago that we covered on the channel here guys like i say i keep you up to date with everything going on with this game right now and the last time we heard anything about exile just saying it could be a remix of exile from halo 4. halo 4 was definitely known for its btb style gameplay and this was a btb map which is honestly a really great map i definitely have all the mediocre to less the fun maps that we had in Halo 4, Exile was actually a pretty good one. And I think it actually might work out all right within Halo Infinite's gameplay. Again, this is speculation as it does seem like the leaked information about Exiled is really just the name Exiled, which if you're gonna have a Halo map named Exiled, well likely, it's tied to the actual map from Halo 4. Cause we know 343 is all about renaming things that didn't need to be renamed. As in, remember how 40 kill streak with Halo Infinite used to be called an unfriggin' believable? And now it's called a demon with like Grim Reaper and Boogeyman and Nightmare instead? Because 343 just has the need to change things in Halo just for the sake of change. Now when the map Exiled comes into Halo Infinite, I highly doubt it'd be called Exiled. That's probably much more of an internal name. We might get a different kind of name for a map, which kind of ties into a previous leak. Again, quote, our favorite leaky boy Sereja with the mode Bastion, which is, is a PVE mode on the map Scar with two R's on it. And the description is the best of just wart, 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 wart. All the leaks and rumors point towards Engine being the BTB map for season four. If you guys haven't heard anything about Engine, just do a quick Google search, you'll find it. And the map does look awesome. But always with these leaks, it's meant to be taken as a grand salt and just like greater picture of things, of just knowing that something is coming along the way that's PVE related and we have some new maps coming. Of course, this is a developing story and as soon as we get some actual information or some more leaked information about what's coming in with season four you know i'll share with you guys here on the channel now as you heard me at the top of the video you probably thought i might have misspoke but i didn't joseph stain just left microsoft as a whole like no longer with the company anymore. Before he left Halo as a creative director, as now Halo's kind of on the right track now with things, he moved back into Microsoft Publishing, but now looks like he's kind of out of that whole deal altogether. Satan here on Twitter, responding to a news article from IGN, where it says Halo Infinite's head of creative, Joseph Satan, is leaving Microsoft and the company is confirmed by IGN. Joseph Satan himself said, hey folks, I'm indeed leaving Microsoft. I'll have more to share soon, but now I just want to take my time to say thanks for all my colleagues and all that good stuff that happened with Xbox. Now, was this an act of defiance by Joseph Stane himself or being removed from the Halo team? I mean, I doubt that, but that'd be kind of a fun narrative now, wouldn't it? Obviously, he's not coming back to Halo as 343 is an extension of Microsoft. And therefore, if you still have hopes for him returning to Halo, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Unless there's a certain Battle Royale mode that's in the works from a different company that works with Microsoft. Now, could you actually give me a second here? I want to do some actual fan theory when it comes to this move by Joseph Stanton, because why leave Microsoft? He's in a pretty cushy position where actually, as a creative person that he is, he's able to hover 
offer up for different projects to kind of help him get across the finish line as part of the publishing team. So he's not stuck doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And we do know that 343 recently just had their campaign team essentially cut from development. So my hopes here, this is a crazy fan theory, just go along with me on this one. What if Joseph Stein starts his own studio, which a lot of these high end devs from 343 end up going to do. We had the sandbox lead Quinn Del Hoyo leave to go create 12 AM studios to help work on Dead Drop, Dr. Disrespect's video game. Jerry Hooker used to be part of the live design team, essentially behind the progression system and microtransactions within Halo Infinite, is now the founder and CEO of Jar of Sparks, which is a new game development studio. So why wouldn't Joe go do the same thing? And we do know that Joseph Staten is a huge fan of Halo. I mean, he helped create the lore and universe. And if you remember earlier in the year, Jason Schreier put out this article saying how there are so many people that were laid off from Microsoft, especially from 343, and how it looks like they will be switching engines with Halo moving forward as a franchise. So with the campaign team cut from Halo Infinite, switching over to most likely Unreal Engine to create further Halo stories, makes me wonder what if Joseph Stan goes off and creates his own studio that directly makes Halo campaigns? Because with Microsoft wide hiring freeze, 343 is not able to fill in the spots when it comes to campaign development. And why leave 343 in January and then in April just leave Microsoft altogether? So my ultimate fan theory is that Joseph Stan puts together his own Halo campaign studio that's built on the Unreal Engine to create future stories and content for us to play out. Again, absolute speculation by my and this is a complete fan theory, but this is what I would love to see happen. If you want to know more about the Bastion PvE mode and the Tenrai event returning for season four, well, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.